All right, well, we're uh, pretty excited tonight here at Chicago Electronic Distributors. We're going to uh, test out a motor shield and some servos here from Adafruit. We've never uh, done anything with robotics, and we're kind of excited to expand into that. So we're going to unpack this uh, shield here and put it together. It should be pretty easy. All we have to do... These little terminal blocks we've got to install, and then these header pins, and uh, away we go. go for it. All right, so Interfruit provides really good instructions, and we're going to just go ahead and follow those. So the first step is to install the headers. We're just using standard headers in that they're not stackable, um, which is fine for what we want to do here tonight. So you just go through and you cut, cut the header pins off that you need. Um, we're going to actually put them into the Arduino and get, so we can stack them. So then we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the last one here. Got ten here, I think. And then this one here. Oops. And sometimes things fall on the floor. Easily recovered. Yeah. <laughs> so then now we're gonna put the shield on top of it. Everything will line up ever so nicely. There. See, now everything is kind of together. I'll make sure every, the pins are pushed down all the way into the Arduino. And then we can start soldering. And if you have a crappy soldering iron, this that part comes out with it. Fortunately, it wasn't hot. <laughs> We've let the soldering iron warm up. Um, and anyway, here we go. Okay, so the next step is to install the terminal blocks. Um, this is how we we'll make our wiring connections to power this guy and to also connect to the servos. So you've got these little three pin and two pin terminal blocks. Just stick them all in there. Doesn't matter how you do it, um, just as long as they face out. Okay, so there's those guys there. this guy here. Notice there's little screws in the top and then all the connections face outward. So we're going to set this down on the table and then we're going to solder the uh, connection there. We're using, um, so this is just Radio Shack uh, really thin diameter solder. Okay. Here we go. So we've got a total of 12 pins to solder right now. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to work. Unless you're building one of these that's going to go into a satellite or something. Then I recommend you get someone who's really good at soldering. Wow. 
Okay, there we go. Our terminal blocks are soldered in. Okay, now we put in the uh, two by three header, which is this this guy here. This one we put facing up. So it the uh, the long side is going to face up. It balances pretty nicely, so we can just kind of stick it down on our table, which it's not entirely flat, but it should, uh, it should be good enough. I'm going to be try kind of careful here not to uh, have any solder connections bridge because that could be a problem. And by bridging, I mean you don't want solder from one connection to get to another. Okay, I think we're good there. And then the very last thing we do is a two pin power header here. Um, probably going to have to put some tape on there just to hold it in place. Sure, there's another way to do that, but that'll work. And then solder that guy. Okay, now we've got a motor controller. Okay, so now that we've got our shield completely built. Um, we actually added some header pins. We didn't record that part, but for servos you need these pins here um, under servo. So we've got everything hooked up, and now we're going to connect our servos because that's what we're testing with tonight. Um, you can also, through these things here, you can hook up little hobby motors and things like that. So Anyway, one thing to note here, we're using the barrel jack for power, so use this little jumper here and that is how you get power for the motor. You can also provide power through these pins here. So I'll show you how we upload the, the test sketch. So if you get going to Arduino, your Arduino um, program, go sketchbook examples. There's actually a built-in servo example. We'll do uh, sweep. So here it's using pin 9. So one of these uses pin 9, one uses pin 10. We'll just upload this to the Arduino and see what happens. And you can see we've got this servo just kind of moving back and forth. Now if I want to play with this servo, let's go in and change this to pin 10. Upload that to the Arduino. And then it just sits there and goes back and forth. And then from there, the sky's the limit. You can program them to do just about anything. So this has been a video brought to you by Chicago Electronic Distributors. Uh, please drop us a line if you have any questions. And these are naturally available in our store. Thanks a lot.